Well, all new tonight, it may be the month that starts with the clink of a glass, but more and more people are choosing to make their January a sober one. For those who want to toast 2024 with something non-alcoholic, it can be hard to find options. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo has more on a Naugatuck woman who wants to change that. Well, on our uh, holiday cocktail list, we do have, it's called the Frosty Margaritas. Where there's people, there's a party, popping bottles and potent pours. It is a big deal. Especially on New Year's Eve. It's a huge social aspect. But what if you're part of the one in five Americans that's planning on taking part in dry January this year? Well, the Naugatuck Bar community has something for you. And for that... All right, so we're getting the ice ready. You can thank Bobby Malatesta, mixing up mocktails. I feel like infinity is the only word for the possibilities. More than your grandma's Shirley Temple. I have things that mimic alcohol. They have the supplements and the herbs and botanicals. She opened her non-alcoholic bottle shop, 321 No Kidding, in November. Knowing New Year's Eve parties are where drinkers and non-drinkers mingle, she approached Naugatuck's bar owners. It's a good business decision for them, right? Instead of a free water, they might make a sale. Who had no problem adding her products to their mix. They're like lifting me up. They're taking care of me like one of their own. A welcome change from feeling like she was on her own. It's all about isolation. That's why I was a gambler. That's so why I was drunk, you know, like it had nothing to do with connection um, and talking about this stuff. Four years sober, Bobby wants to keep collaborating with bars and package stores, hoping a sample of dry January mocktails at New Year's Eve celebrations. Having a non-alcoholic tequila would really, you know, be a huge seller for us. Can turn into a year-round party where everyone feels included. Part of being in the non-alc space is a way it's to support the message of how important it is that we take care of ourselves. These conversations are going to happen organically because people are participating. In Naugatuck. So we're going to put that in there. Audrey Russo. And we're going to open this nice and easy on the first try. Channel 3 Eyewitness News.